I don't think um, African dance should be mainly for Africans. No, I think other people should be involved in it. If we're out there doing like a workshop right now, they will love it, they will join, enjoy the workshop. They love the black dance, they love it. Diversity of um, genres of dance, I think that's very important in the Northwest. In this scene, you're actually seeing Chinese people doing dance hall, you're seeing white people doing um, African tradition dance, so it, I guess it's more of the process what you go through and having that understanding of the background and that appreciation. I feel really passionate about where I come from and I want to learn more and learn more so I can pass it on. What the general public usually see nowadays is more on the commercial side because that's what's popular within um, education, within colleges, dance colleges. Um, it's more like street or commercial classes are the popular classes to go to. Like for me as a black African dance teacher, I go to a school to do a dance and then the kids they're not educated because it's not in their curriculum. But if they put it in their curriculum to educate the kids, I think more kids will be involved at a younger age. I think it will help create an awareness and help establish um, our kind of dance. But the only way it would help if they put that in their curriculum, not just calling us when it's Black History Month. I think um, investment is paramount to, um, to Black people's dance. The lack of help that black companies may get impacts on not having workshops with people that really know um, about their craft within dance styles and the diaspora. Because we don't have the funding here in this country anymore. The more you invest, the more we reach out there. But if you don't invest on us, we can't reach out there. But you have to come and then watch, see our work. If the investment is there for us, we'll focus on our art, you know. I'm lucky that I got um, the grant from um, residents with MDI. Because funding is really low at the moment for dancers, because um, everything seems to be always in London and that's just a really hard thing to do, always travelling there. Because there is talent here and it will really motivate the students so they know that they're in a great city where they've got, they've got artists and choreographers coming in. Travelling down to London all the time whilst trying to make a wage where I live and in the surrounding areas, it's really hard and it would be great if more stuff was put on um, up in the northwest. But not because of, we don't have the funding anymore, so I have to raise money myself, go all the way to Africa just to develop my own ideas to get fresh ideas to come in and teach black dance. Mentoring from, from others would be great. I think more support from people that are older um, and with more knowledge will obviously help because they've got the experience already. With African dance, I sometimes I go off the rails, I do tend to fuse it with street or something like that, which is a good thing. But I feel like it's really as important to teach the students where African dance came from and the traditions of it and the origins of it. Fusing the diversity empowers other dancers to learn different styles and to develop as an artist in that form. I use African dance generally in whatever kind of dance I do. Thank you.